Ford reveals the Mustang Mach-E GT electric crate motor. And this F-150 concept shows it off. Oh, God, I saw this. Yeah, this? I, I replied to Casey's tweet on, on Twitter. He tweeted on Twitter. I responded to it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he was actually responding to the president or CEO of Ford Motor Company who originally posted the image or set of images. It's a, it's a Ford F-100, which I believe is the exact same truck that Peter McKinnon brought in this studio. In the uh, 70s, right? Was it from the 70s or 60s? I don't remember what year it was. It looks more it like, like the that. 60s. Oh, that's a 71. Okay, so late 60s, early 70s. Or, or there's a 75. Anyway, but look, point being is it's a very cool-looking truck, regardless. And what Ford did here is they updated one of those F F100 bodies. They upgraded it to be electric. And it's it just took... Twitter by storm. It took over the internet for about five minutes, maybe 15. Mm. And everybody just said, I got to have this. Mm -hmm. and, and and I was one of those people. I said, I got to have, this. I said, Ford, just bring it to the studio. Just let me do a quick shoot on it because it is so beautiful. With the color scheme. It's oh. so beautiful. Yes. Like, I don't know what oh. it is. Like, why is it? There's something about the old uh, design, but updated. To be electric, there's something about, and you're right, the colors they chose, but I don't know. It's, it's, are we missing something in today's car designs? Is that what's going on? Is that why this speaks to so many people? Because it has so much personality. Like you just look at the shape of it and it has some kind of inherent personality. Is it, are we missing some of this? Well, it's definitely a boxy shape, which, uh, it has an era to it, the boxiness. But never mind the era. Let's just examine the shape on its own. Is it all nostalgia or is is it possible that these designs have some element that modern ones don't? Like, you know how, okay, let's take a modern design, for example. You take this tremendous amount of data and you're worried about uh, drag coefficient. And we've had so many cars in here that have to take so much efficiency into consideration that in many ways the design is kind of pre-configured, the shapes. Right. Because they got to compete on all these variety of specs. And so the Taycan or the Model S or the Model Y or even the Mach-E, I mean, the front end looks a little different, but the rough shape of these things kind of ends up being the same. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we get used to it. And it, so it doesn't really strike us as being something different. And, to be fair, I'm not saying they should make a million of these Ford F100s because they're probably terrible when it comes to range and all kinds of drawbacks. With, but back when you weren't worrying about that so much, it gave a little more freedom to the artist to conceptualize the thing just however they wanted it to look. Mm -hmm. And it's nice how they kind of kept the interior not sleek, just kind of having the DNA of the exterior as well yeah they follow saw, along it's true they modernize the interior without it being overwhelming mm -hmm. like it has the it does have a touch screen the mach -E touch screen and the seats are obviously updated same as the steering wheel yeah but they yeah, you're right it's not overdone or over the top still has some plaid patterns yeah on the side there yeah 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 i'm into it man myself and the rest of the in internet are into it so ford is doing something and uh I'd love to see the transition. I love to see what's going on. I'm curious what might happen here. But they also talked about other stuff, right? Like they've got this new faster Mustang Mach-E GT. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a twin setup. What, what is it going to be? 480 horsepower? Is that what it is? For the Mach-E? The GT one? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, GT derived electric crate motor dubbed the Illuminate. Oh, that's what they put in this F100. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. The, 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 this F100 has 480 horsepower. I think the Mach-E GT, is it the same? They're using the crate motor. Right. Which I feel like it's kind of a... They just put it into... They're yeah. kind of like an engine. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. The automaker used a twin setup to create its F100 illuminator concept, which makes it total... I don't know. Could we ever see something like this back on the road as a new product? Is that just out of the question because the shape is not aerodynamic enough? Hmm. I think people will appreciate driving these. 
But what if it has like only 200 miles of range because it's just so much wind resistance on that flat nose? Yeah. There's going to be collectors out there for sure. It's probably heavy too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're ever going to see a mass production of it. We need like better battery tech mm -hmm. and all kinds of things where it doesn't ma matter as much. Maybe one day. One day. <laughs>